Hi guys, how y'all doing? It's your girl Ruth. Welcome back to another Your Healing Journey. Yes, yeah, a little different this time because I'm all about unconditional love. I am love. I am a Libra. My planet is Venus and Taurus, and, and Taurus and Venus is me. Okay, so I'm going to start because I want 2021 to come in with love. I want everybody to love their selves, protect their selves, and be who you want to be without forcing anyone, trying to convince someone, you know, trying to force anyone. I stress that twice. You know what I'm saying? Try to convince anyone or teach anyone. If that person's going to be whatever they're going to be on their birth chart, let them be it. Don't force them to do nothing. Don't put nothing in the water. Don't put nothing in the air. You know what I'm saying? Don't put nothing in the food. Make people, let people be who they are. So that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And it's going to be a long series because I, I got a lot to say. So yeah, uh, normally, I mean, well, normally I would do my uh, regular Mother Nature's herbs and different plants and stuff like that. But I was inspired by Roma Ba, Sima Ba, and his um his video on gay warriors and voodoo plants, leaves, or magical swords. Okay, and he said if you can't eat the plants, then you shouldn't be be putting them in your skin. But that's not the only. He says fight for the herbs, removes witches, evil eye, mudra. Not meaning you will remove haters, okay? And, and and also removing hate, meaning you remove haters, okay? So I was encouraged by him. So what he did was, because he's a gay pharaoh, can you see that? Embracing his masculine and feminine side, and I'm hoping he don't. He, I don't. I have the vibe that he don't hate women because he wouldn't be embracing both of his sides okay so what i'm going to do first is uh my normal thing my normal two of affirmations and truth i'm going to shuffle and i'm going to pull and i'm going to put them to the side these are things that you should say to yourself okay and then i'm going to do the medical affirmations and i'm going to do the same thing and then i'm going to read the plants that he picked out for only gay men to protect themselves from all this craziness that they try to do to y'all and to give y'all more power and to make y'all feel good about yourself for protection without using a weapon but only these weapons okay i'm gonna explain in a minute let me do this first okay one process at a time because this has gotten ridiculous let people be who they are as long as they're not forcing anybody or disrespecting anybody you know people being their self you know now some that been raped or whatever and tricked into it or whatever and embrace that now they embrace that now you know but if you don't like it change it you don't have to be what people laboring you to be you could be who you want to be remember that Okay, so let's get started, y'all. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to put it to the side, and I'm going to read it at the end, okay? Okay, now how that ended up like that, I don't know. Okay. How as many as they want to follow, they know what's up, okay? Okay, that feels good. I'm going to put these to the side. I'm going to read them at the end after I get to reading what he wrote. <clears throat> and I felt it was very important. I really like the man. He's very knowledgeable. He helps me out a lot in understanding and uh, making my videos. Him and some other scholars and other master teachers that I found. And as well as my higher self, my ancestors. You know, my higher uh, spiritual guides, you know, my alien family who all love me. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to show y'all some things and y'all take it 
however y'all going to take it, use it however y'all going to use it. I just say don't use it and abuse it because it will come back to you. That's not good, okay? So use it as, as your protection, your family's protection. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let me finish this. See what all they want to come out there too. Okay. Okay, let me see if that's all, y'all. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to put these to the side. Let's see if they coincide with the whole reading. You know, our angels of ancestors, they know what's up. Don't think, you know, don't feel bad about anything. I know y'all don't. Y'all strong, but... Okay, let's get started. Okay, he was talking about the ram is a gay warrior. Okay, not saying everybody, but this is what he's saying. Now, he named the god, but I'm going to butcher it. I know. So, y'all, when I, when I showed y'all his um, video, please go back and look at it yourself as well, okay? Because I'm going to butcher the name. But it's Ammo Ram Goddess. It's a, 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 an, a ram goddess. Okay, a ram gay warrior, ram in the heavens. Okay, ram of war, a sorcerer, a witch. Okay, a voodoo, uh, of magic. Okay, voodoo does not mean bad, please, y'all. Only if you take it there. Uh, nice to us, I will put out the sword. Okay, so all over the world, people are who, who they are gay, straight, whatever. Morphodites, you know. So I think this time mostly it's got to freeing the morphodites and freeing people, freeing sexuality, freeing women, freeing people who want to be who they are. Okay. Okay. So he started off with says, he said the plants go to war against what hurts you. They love to go to war. They love to fight. The golden beetle, god of frac fractals. Okay. Herbs trigger certain moves. Bamboo God, Jekyll Man, open and closed, positive and negative. So the first one is celery oil. He says, hold on a minute, I'm sorry, y'all. Celery oil keeps your mind clear, clear of negative thoughts, not confused. You receive blessings from the spirit world. Your deepest, uh, uh, philo um, psychology organic celeries okay not just anyone he said the way to make the way to make celery oil squeeze it into a, in, in the water you no know, squeeze it and the juice of it comes out okay that's the oil you know for gay men only okay put on your head hands and neck and pray to the god go to Ra See my, okay, see my boss to find out the name of the God, okay? Because I'm not, I'm not sure. What, okay, well, how you pronounce that name? Okay, that's the first one, okay? And then he said the second one is onions. Squeeze juice. Um, it's the lion-headed man. Okay, I say Leo. On chest, on the clothes, or better. Put it on your chest. Oh, man, hold on, yeah. Yeah, okay. Squeeze the juice. It's a lion head man, okay, Leo, on chest, under clothes, put it under your clothes or better, or your thighs. It helps you focus, gives life and energy, okay. I know you're saying an onion, I'm going to go out there, people going to be saying I smell an onion. If you, I suggest you do these things where you know you're going out and you know people are going to try to F with you. You know, that's my thoughts. That's only my thoughts, okay. Say you stay in an area like that, you know. Okay, the next one is rose oil. Organic only. No dyes. Kills, it kills the spirit when you get it not organic. Okay. Uh, rose oil and jasmine is the highest two oils. So he's going to show you an easier way. Squeeze it in water at the base of the red petal. Now you have your rose oil. Makes you loving and calm. It, if there's Heat in your house, tension with you and your mate, family, whatever.
sprinkle it around your house or with a honey stick. If partner acting up, sprinkle on his shoes, his clothes, all around the house. Things will calm down. Okay. Uh, peace in the house. It brings peace. Receive. I, I would say I would take that wherever I go. The work and everywhere. Phew. Receive inspiration. Uh, no nightmares. Bad. No bad dreams. You you won't you only receive good ones. Sprinkle it on yourself, okay? He's talking about the leaves only, okay? Okay, the next one is Alfalfa. Uh oh, sorry. I did I did hear one just fall. I wake up, man. Here you go. Next one is Alfalfa all. So this one brings you money. Money spirits love this plant. Put in water. The leaves are best when dry plants work too, but not as strong. So fresh if you can get it. Squeeze it. Put on your neck. Pray for money. Easy to make a living. More sales. So your business or whatever you're thinking about doing, people are going to want it. They're going to want to come into your business. You know, all that kind of stuff. You know, if you're online, I would suggest putting it right by you online. When you put it on your hands and stuff, maybe put a bowl of it. Right by the computer. If you work on a computer, you get the idea. Okay. <laughs> Next. Uh, let me see. Uh, if you can eat plants. Oh, okay. That's the thing I said. The next one is bay leaves. Okay. Dry bay leaves. Soak in water. To energize it gives you strength, physical power, uh, root energy. To physically endure weather is basically uh, patience. Who don't like their children being gay? Okay, so I'll get your parents. I'm sorry. It's uh, endured with weather. It's basically parent. Remember, read that again. Soaking water to energize it gives you strength, physically, physical power, root energy to physically endure weather. It's basically parents who don't like, I don't like their children being gay. A uh, bully race gives you. Uh, a physical voodoo protection to fight against spirits, people of ill intent, enemies, means fundamental, bottom, funda means bottom, okay, but, your butt, mental means mind, fight with the herbs, removes witches, evil eye, mo, 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 mojo, not meaning you well, remove haters, okay, because I use bay leaves myself, okay? That mean the evil witches, okay? Because we are, you know, we witches. You know. And the next one is, uh, what do you got? God, God Hobby Gay Unite, okay? Coconut oil, coconut juice. On yourself, water, calm you, improve your judgment. Bef okay, put it in water, you know that. Uh, cook the fresh coconut. Squeeze it in, you know, got the juice already in there. So put it on you. It calms you, improves your judgment. Before you go out to enjoy yourself, this will help when you get horny. So you won't do stupid stuff like drugs, alcohol. You would think things through, rational, and think first before you act. You know, don't be going to bed with this and that one. You know, you're going to be worried about the consequences, okay? Uh, okay, so the last one is, uh, I don't know how to say that, go to Kula, I don't know, yeah, or leaves and herbs, okay, very important. Yeah, put the coconut oil before your body, on your body before you go out, okay. Uh, God of wisdom, go to Kula, okay, leaves and herbs. You, your destiny, without doubting, you have found your destiny, y'all. You accept yourself of who you are and not worry about what people say or questioning yourself. Uh, the priests used to do it to people who were scared to come out and they knew they were, okay? They would put it on them and they would see the light. Then you realize how beautiful you are. It's not a curse. Stay well in any situation. Stay calm and cool. This is so you won't have kids with the opposite sex are the same 
and won't be responsible to take care of your responsibilities confidently and lovingly by teaching others, not being ashamed of your penis, okay? Protecting yourself against people, leaders who judge you. Uh, no, what I said, to hurt you, to hurt, kill, or torture you, you know, how crazy they can get, pissing me off. Stand strong and be truthful in telling women how you are, so these will be, the, there will be no trickery and unhappiness for either of you staying out of, staying out of the closet, so please do that. Because one thing for sure, a woman can tell what her man is. And it pisses me off that some of my partners, I know they want it to be that way. I had no problem in that because I'm a free spirit, okay? I like, love, life, beautiful. When I first came here, I was confused. But now I know my destiny of why I'm supposed to be here and, and love and care about people and help people and get that extra smile or, you know, something. So when you meet, when they meet me, it's like they were trying to use me because of my beauty to hide behind it. And that was not fair to me. And I knew it the whole time. I, you know, I, I wasn't strong. I did have some so low self-esteem for things that happened in my life. But I knew they wanted to be with the, the same sex as their self. And I, they still haven't came out like that and I wish they would because now since I'm on a higher plane in my mind body soul spirit I can't have that in my life I can see it coming you know only advice I can give to the to be yourself because I'm gonna be myself because I'm trying to figure out my sexuality I'm attracted to women you know but uh only thing that gets me is the sexual part you know because I know what come out of me that's how I look at it so maybe I'm just straight and that's okay, too, you know. But please don't lie. You know, don't get in, off into a woman. I remember one guy. Oh, my goodness. Let's go talk about him. But anyway, don't get off into a woman and you know you want a man. And y'all have kids together. Do you know how effed up you just made them kids? That's horrible. Think about think about it like that, okay? And then you and your partner can have kids. Plenty of adoption. Plenty of people pack y'all baby, whatever, you know. Okay, women as well. Okay, like Michael Jackson's song, In the Closet. He was talking about gays, telling telling the truth of who he really was. You know what I'm saying? And the girl wanted to seduce him. She thought maybe if he go to bed with her, you know, she was very seductive. You know, kind of like the lady I got up here. She's very beautiful. You know what I'm saying? She's very beautiful. But that's not going to make him stop being who he is. You know what I'm saying? So she she was the one that was insecure and, you know, didn't know who she was. But uh, he was very aware of who he was, you know. So that's another story, okay. Can't help people that's going to try to do that kind of stuff. But stand strong, y'all. You are who you are, you know. Love y'all. Okay, let's go ahead and see if everything coincide with what we were talking about. Let's go to these first. And see what it's saying. It's saying, I always manifest what I want. Okay. And we just talked about the money, right? Uh, I like to learn new things. Okay. Oh, hopefully y'all did just now. <laughs> I don't have to go and be with my partner everywhere. Standing strong, being self-sufficient. Okay. I like nice things. Okay. I don't beg for others to help me or trick them into doing so. Okay, hello. What do you want to see or accomplish at the end of the day? Okay, that's on you. I am not greedy. Okay. See these things you might, you know, they only oh, they know. I don't like talking about my ex. Okay. I listen until ask to ask to answer. Okay. I respect myself. Booyah. Okay. I don't stare at people that's rude. Okay. Let's see what the medical affirmations have to say. Okay. Oh, sorry, y'all. Yeah. And first one is, I think better. I think before I speak, get crystal, crystal, crystals to help if I can't 
look at and look at my chart okay so you're gonna learn more about yourself right you know y'all know what the birth chart looks like right so that's a website you can go to and when you get your natal chart and have to fill out everything hope you have your birth certificate time of your birth if not you put 12 12 p.m if you're born in it's kind of relevant okay at least 90 percent, i think and then study yourself okay that's what it's all about anyway know thyself right i am not sneaky please don't be just talking about that i don't take everything personally jokes criticism i learned laugh at myself okay they hit him on the nose didn't they hey hello um i am not messy okay i don't need no one to always boost me up hello uh, my aura is powerful okay i don't need sex all the time hey we just don't <laughs> they are good i think i don't think no one is out to get me make sure it's not medical or past life okay so you put that in the air so when you're doing this stuff here you ain't got to worry about where you go i don't snap on people hello i am not emotional emotionally dependent on my kids husband mate or family okay y'all so that's what i had to say y'all i appreciate y'all coming and this your girl ruth until next time sorry aries kind of went down and i hope y'all enjoyed this i'm gonna do more things because i want everybody healed i really do i want this world whole this age of aquarius to be so fantastic but uh yeah so would y'all like subscribe share and comment tell what y'all think about it okay and what i need to improve to improve miss whatever the deal you didn't like it we did like it whatever I right, love y'all. Until next week, y'all. Next time, whenever they got me to do whatever. Okay, y'all take care. Stay strong. All right, bye.